Rare Candy is some of the most useful and valuable commodities in the game and can be used to very quickly get your Pokemon to level 100 with absolutely no effort and with that they are incredibly sought after. You're able to obtain 21 Rare Candy through normal gameplay in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee and there's also a method to farm an infinite amount of them and in this video I'm going to show you how. First let's show you the locations of every Rare Candy in the game through normal circumstances. The first rare candy is located in Mount Moon, in the second floor of the basement. Take what is likely the first ladder you see upon entering Mount Moon, take the next ladder down to the second floor of the basement, go past the Team Rocket Grunt and the rare candy is located right here. Next up in Cerulean City, simply go into this building near the Pokemon Center, head into the back garden and the rare candy is going to be located right in clear sight. Next up in Lavender Town, on the sixth floor of the Pokemon Tower, just where you encounter Marowak's ghost, it is located right by the staircase to the next floor. This is only obtainable once you have the Sylph Scope to see ghosts. There's two rare candy in Celadon City, one is located to the far west of the city behind the Pokemon Center. Simply follow the path behind and it will lead you right to it. The next one is in Celadon City Game Corner in Team Rocket's Hideout in this little puzzle on the third floor of the basement. Very very easy to find, just follow my actions. The next two are going to be located in Saffron City, in the Sylph Company. First one is on the seventh floor in the room where an NPC gives you a Lapras. It's in plain sight, so grab that, and then head to the tenth floor where there'll be three items obtainable in plain sight. Simply grab the middle one, and that's all there is to it. You will require the card key to be able to get both of these, so make sure you obtain that first. The next six rare candy are located in the power plant. The first five will be given to you for defeating the coach trainer near the entrance. Defeat their three fossil Pokemon and they will give you five rare candy. Then simply follow this path down to the southern part of the power plant and the next rare candy will be located in plain sight next to this machine. The next five rare candy will be located in Seafoam Island by defeating another coach trainer who has all three of the evolutions present in this game. Defeat him and the prize for doing so will be 5 rare candy. Two more rare candy can be located in the Pokemon Mansion at Cinnabar Island. First one is located on the third floor just past the burglar and found in plain sight. The next one is located in the basement in the middle room at the top of the floor, reachable by first pressing a switch that unlocks the door guarding it. Once again, incredibly, incredibly easy to find. The final rare candy obtainable under normal circumstances can be found in Cerulean Cave after you've completed the main story of the game. Simply go up the first set of ladders you see and the rare candy is located at the bottom of the second floor near a set of five Ultra Balls. Once you've got that, you've found every rare candy you can find in the overworld under normal circumstances. Now, if you put a Pokemon in Route 5's daycare center, you are able to earn rare candy candy that way. The more levels you gain might influence the amount of items you receive. And you can also earn rare candy by performing incredibly high catch combos, according to the game's data mine. However, I haven't actually seen evidence of that performed in game, so that is still open to testing. Let me know your experiences with that. Now, how can you obtain more rare candy and even farm infinite amounts of it? Now, if you want to farm unlimited amounts of rare candy in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, you are going to need the Pokeball Plus, which I know not all of you can afford it, I'm sorry, please don't shoot the messenger. Using the Pokeball Plus, you are going to be able to level up your Pokemon incredibly easy, and if you take your Pokemon out for long walks, you are able to earn rare candy. Throughout the course of the last few weeks, I've seen people earn three rare candy just from short walks and earn upwards of 200 rare candy just from their daily schedule. So, I've got a Mewtwo loaded up into my Pokeball Plus. I've had it in there for about three days at this point. I'm going to take it out. I've took it for a couple of walks. We're going to see what we earn so I can demonstrate to you just how efficient this method is, hopefully. So we have connected our Pokeball Plus. We are going to take our Mewtwo out of it. A Pokemon is out for a stroll. Uh, would you like it to come back? Yes, we would. So, you might have heard that through the microphone. 
Uh, this is my Mewtwo returning from a stroll. Let's see how it did. So it's already level 100, so it's not going to earn any experience. But we walked 10,222 steps together. And we earned three rare candy from it. I've only been out for collectively about half an hour with this Pokeball Plus. So earning three rare candy just for half an hour of a walk. Pretty insane. Really, really happy with that. So there we go. That's our rewards for our stroll for about half hour of walks. Pretty, pretty good. That's how you can earn unlimited amounts of rare candy in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Using this, you could probably get about 15 rare candy a day if you really were desperate for rare candy. So this is just the history of our rewards saving. There we go. So as you've just seen, I earned three rare candies just from pretty much a half hour walk. If you're taking your Pokemon out for walks every single day using the Pokeball Plus, you are going to be able to earn insane amounts of candy. You are never going to need to worry about rare candy again. You're going to be able to get any Pokemon to level 100 that you deem necessary. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. A like would be really appreciated if you found it useful. Subscribe so you don't miss any more of my future Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee videos. And I will see you guys in my next video very likely tomorrow. Peace out.